Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you... Oh wait, I'm at the beginning. Um, hey, I'm doing a GarageBand tutorial today. It should be really fun, so let's get started. All right, welcome to GarageBand. This is the first screen that you will see when you open it up. I'm working with MIDI today, so if you don't have a MIDI keyboard, you, you don't worry, because you can use your computer keyboard. So press Create. Um, classic Electric Piano is your default. Um, so yeah, if you don't have a MIDI keyboard, you can press Command-K and transform your regular keyboard into a piano. Pretty cool. Alright, I'm going to put them over there. Uh, I'm going to look at drums first, which I like to start with drums, so when I'm recording everything else, I've got a little feel already, and then I don't need the metronome after that. Um, so yeah, let's get some drums. And as always, if I take too long picking, I will edit myself modern disco. Okay, when you first open a kit, this blue part, this is showing you what octave you're on. So if you just bring it down one, and you can do that by pressing X or Z on your keyboard, um, that will put you in the right octave for the classic kit pieces. Here's your hats. Okay, cool. Tom Toms. Crash. Oh, there's your crash. There's like a ride bell. Another kick. Yeah, so got a lot to work with. If you go up one, you get some like... Wait. Some fun percussion stuff. Um, okay. So this kit sounds pretty good. That kick is pretty booming. Um, I like to turn the reverb up a little bit. Makes it feel a little less stale. Um, yeah. And up here, under your project title, you will be able to, you can adjust the tempo. Yes. And then you can also adjust the time signature. So we're in 4-4, the people's time signature by default. We can get Crazy, seven, eight, five, four. You're in the mood to get mathy. Uh, we're gonna stick with four, four because it's classic. Um, okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and record a little beat um, to start. So, um, yeah, uh, let's do it. Oh wait, I don't want to get that fast. There is a little slight delay with musical typing, so just be aware. The timing might suck. Okay, there's a little groovy beat. Okay, this square is called your MIDI region. So if we double click on this, we can see all the notes that we just played. Um, so listen, listen to this real quick. Notice how that first kick is not playing? The reason for that is, is so I played it a little bit early, so I'm just going to take that guy and scoot him over a, li a little bit. Alternatively, um, right immediately after you re record, when this is selected, you can press the letter Q. That'll line everything up. Another note on that, um, you can change the strength of the velocity. So I'm going to select all, I'm going to go to region, turn the strength down a little bit. That lets it have a little more human feel. Yeah. And then you can go in and adjust certain notes. So like, I want that exactly on the beat. Um, select it, press Q, and just turn your strength back up. Um, yeah. So. Raise the roof. Um, and then you can also like write notes in. So let's say I want another hi-hat there or tom-tom. Why not? But I want a hi-hat there and then I want to do something cool with the kick. And I'm going to move this guy over just a little bit. Whoa. I'm gonna, that was a little off, right? So I'm going to select it, press Q. That'll line them up. Oh, it's the hi-hats that are off. There we go. 
yeah. Wow, some of this was pretty off. I'm gonna adjust the strength a little bit. Let's do something funky with that tom tom. Nice. Okay. Um, and then if you want, I went over this and Logic and GarageBand are very similar. So a lot of what I'm going to do, you can do on Logic, which I do have another video. Um, normally I like to add shakers and stuff. Um, so if you really want to get cool and funky and keep that human feel, check that video out. Um, got some tips in there. Um, it's not super, super detailed, but it should be enough to at least give you uh, the essentials. And then you can explore and you'll be like, wow, this is cool. Okay, I'm going to open up a new track. We'll press that plus up there. Press create. Um, again, lots of choices. Um, <clears throat> got a lot of synths. A lot of these are pretty cool. Got some pianos. They're pretty cool. Got some organs. They're pretty cool. Uh, the arpeggiators are pretty fun. Um, I'm going to turn this down just in case it's very loud. Oops. Let's try this. And then you can go in on these knobs and... Yeah, um, we'll find a demonstration there. Um, and then some of the sounds I like, if you go to Synthesizer and go to EDM Chord, some of these are pretty cool. Um, yeah, this is just asking, hey, you sure you want to abandon your changes over here? Um, I do right now, so press continue. I'm going to turn this down a little bit in case it's loud. Being more mindful about that. Okay, I'm going to turn this down too because last time that was so loud. Okay, this still feels a little off. Select all. Okay, for the sake of this video, I'm just going to put this at 100. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm just going to... Oh, and you, this is cool. You can mess with the harmonies here. And then this thing down here I like too. be editing the sound on that. Why is this still so off? I don't know what's going on. Let's see. Oh, pfft. okay, I had that off. There's a good little lesson right there. Okay, now I'm gonna record something. Okay, that's cool. Now I'm gonna press Q to line everything up. And you can mess with these knobs while you're recording. So, you, you can record it. And then another cool thing is the pulse part. And a lot of these functions, I mean, like cutoff and resonance are pretty standard. So you'll see this on a lot of other of the sounds. You won't always see chords. You won't always see pulse, but um, just making a note of that. Okay, I'm going to record. Okay. Okay. I'll take it. All right. Then I'm going to press Q. Well, no, I don't I can't quantize that on here. Okay. Yeah. Um I want to put that reverb back on. Okay. 
This glider can be fun. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, you hear that? Okay. Again, if you get you don't feel like listening, just double tap on your phone to go forward or scrub in the video. I don't care. Um, again, I'm gonna add some bass. I'm gonna go back to synths. There are some cool like electric bass, regular old electric bass sounds. Um, yeah. So if you would rather use that sound, of course you can. And it's got amp plugins and stuff. Um, synthesizer, bass. The EDM basses are pretty cool too. Again, I'm gonna turn this down real quick. Um, and again, change octaves here. It's a little too low. Okay. Okay, that's cool, but I don't want that right now. Let me go to... Uh... Ooh, low. And I like to make weird harmonies and stuff, so a lot of times when I get really crazy, this is pretty normal sounding, but like, when I get crazy chords and everything, um, I just take a minute to guess where it, that root is, um, whatever the root sounds like it should be, and then then I just mess around. And I'm like, oh yeah, this sounds cool. Uh, and over time, get a little, find your flavor. Um, yeah, and this one is cool because you can like click and drag this. Um, I'm gonna try one of the EDM basses because they're pretty cool. Oops, flat. Not that one. Um, massive. No, I like torn up. This one's cool. You can make really crazy stuff with this one. Well, let me try. Yeah, that's probably better. And then you can go on controls here and like edit each of these squares. So. Yeah, that one's cool. And you can record your notes first, so. Yeah, okay. So uh, this is pretty simple playing, right? I'm gonna quantize this. Um, and then I'm gonna come back here. So I'm gonna press record again. Okay, wait, I need to change this guy. Oops, okay. I want, so I don't want that. I recorded that, but I don't want it. So I'm gonna press undo. God, this is so sharp. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna change this wobble so it's... Okay, now I'm gonna record. Okay. Alright. And then you can record over that. So, like, let's say I I do this, but then I want I want that guy in there. You can record it again. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Um. 
So you have a lot to explore with. Look at all, look at this whole list of sounds. And that's just one category for the synths. Um, so experiment, have some fun. Hopefully that was a good... Oh, one more thing. Okay, should have done this at the beginning. Okay, I made this beat earlier, right? Woo, okay. Um, I want it to repeat. So I'm going to move my cursor here and click and drag as long as your heart desires. Same here, okay, yeah. And now one note about this. Okay, these regions are looped. So when I select it, like, um, if I click over here, I can't necessarily edit the notes over here. Like this is, this is what is gonna repeat. So if you want any of this to be different, you have to start from this part. Um, so if you want to end up editing down there, you would press, select it and press J. What? Or, oh, uh, can you not do that? Boy, oh boy, was that fun. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed it, maybe learned a little bit. If you haven't, please check out my other videos. Uh, some of the Logic stuff is super similar to GarageBand, so you might see some tips in there that I did not cover today. Um, Feel free to leave a like or a comment or a subscribe or a share. I would super appreciate it. And hopefully I'll see you at the next one. Bye.